Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's asked Accenture actual coding question. So this is the fourth question that I am discussing for this hiring. Previously also, I have made lot of videos. I have discussed the question from from 20th July also for 21st July also. And today I will be discussing the question from the 22nd July slot. So guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe it because after these exams are over, interviews will be started. starting and i will be making lot of videos in discussion of preparation that how you have to prepare for that interview as well as i will be sharing lot of interview experiences for this hiring so make sure that you are subscribing this channel and guys if you are not in our telegram groups do join it because regularly we are solving doubts of people and also we are <clears throat> we are sharing different different job opportunities that will be coming your way okay so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button okay so guys again the approach of our uh, video will remain same first of all we will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and then finally we will move in towards the coding part of this question so guys this question that is print the following pattern is slightly on the uh, easy side so it will be easy to understand and many of you were able to solve this question on your own but this video is for those who found it difficult so let's just see how, what is the question and how we can approach it okay so let's just first read the question first so print the following pattern given number of rows as input print the below pattern that is n is equal to 7 so you will be given the number of rows and based on this single input only you will have to print this entire pattern so what this n is equal to 7 denotes n equal to 7 denotes the number of rows so this is first row this is second row this is third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth this is seven so similarly so uh, n is equal to 7 means seven rows and in each row again there is a different different pattern different different number of stars that are getting printed so let the now i hope the question is clear to you let's just now see how we will be approaching this question so guys n is equal to 7 it means the number of rows and once we are on the ith row once we are on the ith row let's just suppose we are on this third row now again once we are in the, on this third row if you will look closely we are starting from left to right we are starting from left to right so first of all there are two spaces that are getting printed and then there are five stars that are getting printed so initially what you have to do you will have to consider this as an entire square of 7 by 7 okay now if you are on the ith row then starting from the left first spaces are getting printed and then the stars are getting printed for each row the pattern is same first some spaces are getting printed then some stars are getting printed and this approach this thing is repeating for all the rows but the just the difference is that there are different number of spaces and different number of stars in every row for example in the first row if we consider there are zero spaces and seven stars similarly in the second row there is one space and six stars similarly in the second third row there are two spaces and five stars so if we will note the number of spaces and the number of stars in each row so in the first row spaces is equal to 0 and stars is equal to 6 oh stars equal to 7 okay again considering the second row for the second row space is equal to 1 stars is equal to 6 for the third row again space is equal to 2 stars equal to 5 and so on till the last row where space is equal to uh, space is equal to 6 and star equal to 1 so if you will look closely you will find the pattern that what is the pattern for each row that is getting fulfilled so if i generalize this pattern okay what we will do here you can see that in the first row the stars the stars is double equal to n value only and in the second row the stars is double equal to n minus 1 value and in the third row the stars sorry the stars is equal to n minus 2 and similarly till the last row so and similarly in the last row the stars is equal to n minus uh what you can say stars is, is equal to 1 only so it is the sequence that in every row our stars are getting decreased by 1 so n n minus 1 n minus 2 till the stars equal to 1 and if we will similarly compare the spaces also so spaces in the first row is 0 and then on the second row is 1 then on the third row it is 2 and so on till the spaces are 6 that is 
n minus 1. So, if we we'll again that is equal to n minus 1. So, what we will do? We will simply first write a for loop. Okay, first write a for loop that will be help us in iterating each and every row and then inside that for loop, first of all we will print all these spaces, then first, then we will print all these stars and for after every iteration we will increment the value of spaces by 1 and we will decrement the value of stars with 1. So I hope now the question and some bit of approach is clear to you. Now quickly move towards the coding part because many things will become more clear once you see the code for it. So if you are not subscribed to the channel now please subscribe it and do hit that like button and do share this video among your friends also. And now just let's just quickly move on to the coding part of this question. Okay. So guys here I have already written the code for saving the time. So this is the main function again in Accenture hiring I have told you that you will only have to implement the function. There will be some question in which you have to take input by yourself. So I think this is one of the question wherein you will have to take the input by yourself. But again I may be wrong but if you like if you have to just implement the function just just forget this input part and just focus on the main logic part okay so just to explain this question first i have taken the input n and then c in n and then what we will do we have to declare spaces we have to initialize the spaces with zero because as i told you in the first row spaces are zero okay and then we have to take the next thing that is stars as a as a variable and we have to initialize that star as n because we know that in the first row there will be the number of stars will be equivalent to n so uh, we have already taken n as input okay now what we'll do we will use a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so what this loop will do this loop will help us in iterating in the rows okay so for for every iteration the operation we will do that will be that will be this printing this particular row so again this is the outer loop that we are using this outer loop will help us in iterating over each and every row. So once we are on the ith row, so once let us suppose we are on the ith row, let us suppose we are on the third row, but I have told you we will first print all these spaces and then on the, in that row we will print all these stars. Okay. So again, once we are on the ith row, we are first printing all these spaces, j is equal to 0, j less than spaces, j plus plus, c out again, this is the space that we are printing and then once all these spaces have been printed for that ith row, we are printing all the stars for that ith row. For j is equal to 0, then j less than stars, j plus plus, and we are printing all the stars for that particular row. Okay. So once we have printed all these spaces and once we have printed all the stars, then I had told you that when we will move in towards the next iteration, our spaces will, our spaces variable will increase by 1 because in, that, in this third row, two spaces were there and in the fourth row three spaces were there and in the fifth row six uh, how many four spaces were there so in every row spaces are increasing so therefore for every iteration we have increased the spaces and next thing is for every iteration our stars is decreasing as i have told you that in the uh, second row five uh, six stars are there in the third row five stars are there and so on in the fourth row four stars are there so therefore we have decremented our stars by one okay so Till here all the things are clear. Now when moving to the next iteration we will have to give this C out and then end L also. So C out and L works in C++ but again if you are using any other language you can use that function. So C out and L means that once the once the ith iteration is over the printing of next iteration the printing of next iteration will start from the next row. So if I will like show you by running this code just once okay then I will show you if what will happen if I will not give this C out and L. So let's just first for the custom input as 5, let's just run it. Let's just see what will be output coming. And then we will, I will again run this code by removing the end L part. So here you can see this is the output and this is the expected output that is coming. So it is correct. Now let me just remove this C out end L. Then the things will become more clear that why this end L was used for this iteration. Let me just run it now. Okay. So now you will see since C out end L has been removed, so all the all the stars and spaces have been printed in the single row only. So C out and L for every iteration is very important so that our pattern can be completed. And for the next row, all these spaces and pattern, uh, all the spaces and stars start printing from the new row for every iteration. So again, let me just run it and it will give you this same output. That is this one. So this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. But again, keep in mind there might be some programs in which you will have to take input and there might be some program in which 
you will just have to implement the function so some minor changes you will have to make in your code but the main logic will remain same so i hope all these things are clear to you and if you have not subscribed channel till now please subscribe it because lot more information about different different hirings i will be posting on this channel thank you for watching this video